The Katutura Community Hall, or Baukarsal as it was known among the community, was built shortly after Ventuk residents were forcefully removed from the old location in 1959. If one is to understand the setup of how the old location was before this period, with no segregation along tribal groups, that is what this building came to represent for the present day Katutura Central residents. It became a place to host weddings, dance clubs and disco, and at times for organizing protests against apartheid authorities. 82-year-old Susanna Gunovandu lives just behind the hall along the ever-busy Independence Avenue. In defiance of the apartheid rule of confining people to tribal locations, Oma Susi would meet her sweetheart who was a Herero man at the community hall. The couple later got married. At least all the black tribes could make use of the community hall as long as the meetings were not political, but the authorities were very strict against vandalism. Today this building is turning into a shadow of its former self, with graffiti everywhere and some parts vandalized, while it doubles as a storage facility for used items. Sometimes teenagers gather and indulge in alcohol and Kadutura elders are not happy. There was no time for us to drink alcohol, as it is in the case with young people nowadays. We used that hall to participate in pageants like Ms. Ventuk. 34-year-old local media personality Leonard Vetbian was raised in the area by his grandparents and hopes to help restore the facility back to its former glory. Vatbian is busy with a donation campaign on social media to see the historical community hall renovated. This hall was so historic. Where are the bands that used to perform here and why did that tradition not fall low? Questions I would also have is with the modern technology, is there not, nothing that we can add technologically to the current hall to make it a cinema, maybe, at a low cost, for the community. The Katutura Central Constituency Councillor has also been engaging local authorities at the Ventuk Municipality. The constituency office uses the building for its annual Christmas luncheon for the elderly. It is unacceptable. It is, it is the condition there. That hall is almost going to fall down any time from now on. Another plea is that the hall be turned into an after-school center or a museum instead of it being used for charismatic church services or as voting points during elections. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.